In this segment, what we'll do is look at how simulation works. And let's first look at the contract we just built in Blockly. Here it is in Blockly. Let's send it to the simulator. And then we see this is what the simulator window looks like. We have the Marlowe code here. We have this pane coming up, which has quite a lot of diagnostic information. Uh, the current state of the simulation is, is what is normally visible, but also um, there's information about warnings, there's information of um, about errors, uh, there's information about logs. And in fact, this is telling us very sensibly, it's warning us that in fact, we hadn't completed the contract. Um, we've still got a whole of type contract sitting in there, which of course, what we meant to put in there was close. So let's put that close in and we see there are now no more warnings left. We hadn't actually completed the um, the contract in, in Blockly. And interestingly enough, you saw another feature of the translation from Blockly to Marlowe, that if there's a hole in Blockly, it gets turned into a hole in Marlowe. Okay, so now we have a contract to simulate. So we're in the simulator. Let's see what we should do here. Well, what can we do? We have, um, we have these windows here, we have the current state, um, static analysis will come to later, we have warnings, errors, and we have a log of actions that have been taken. But if we look here, this top right-hand corner, corner tells us all the actions we can take. And at the moment, it's saying the simulation hasn't started. So let's click on Start Simulation. And then what we see are actions that are available. And this is a smart simulation. It only offers actions that make the contract progress. And here it's offering us two things. It's saying Alice could deposit a thousand units of ADA. The other action it's offering us is to move to slot 100. And it's offering us that because that's the timeout. So the two possible things that could happen in this situation is Alice could make the deposit. Let's do that. Um, and then we see in the current state that um, we now see that there is uh, Alice has an account and there are a thousand Lovelace in her account. We could actually undo that. Um, if we undo that, um, we get put back to the um, to the uh, initial state. So we've undone that. And what happens now? Suppose we perform this action of moving to state 100. What happens there is that we hit the timeout action, which is simply to close. And so the contract has closed. So let's undo that again. And we get back to our starting state. So, um, and also this is telling us the point at which the whole, whole contract will expire, which again is, is useful information in the current state. So let's again make Alice do that deposit. And then in this situation, we're in the situation where Bob can make a deposit or the contract can move to the timeout for that. Now, this is what you would call an omniscient simulation. We can perform actions that Alice could do, that Carol could do. Anybody, any of the roles in the contract are available in this simulation. So let's progress this. And now um, Carol is being asked to make a choice and the ch Carol can choose um, one or two. If we if we produce a choice that's outside the range, we can show that to a, a, um, a participant. So the participant knows they have to actually choose one or two. Let's choose one. And what will happen there is that the contract will close because a payment will be made. And we can see that by looking in the logs. The log shows us all the actions that have been taken. So we saw that Alice deposited a thousand units of ADA. Bob deposited um, 100 units into Alice's account, and then we paid the whole lot out to Alice. If we undo that action and we make a choice of two and then perform, perform this action, we'll see that um, the contract has paid the money to Alice again. Now, I don't think we intended that to happen. So let, let's reset the contract. And in fact, we'll see that here. Um, oh, yeah, no, we paid we paid to Bob in one case and we paid to Alice in the other. So that's that's fine. 
Okay, so what we've seen there in this first simulation is um, once you've started, you're offered actions. You can perform the actions by clicking on the uh, plus button next to them. You can undo the previous choice. You can reset the simulation to the beginning. Um, so it allows us to explore all the um, all the possible paths or each possible path through the contract. We can make some steps, step back a bit, move forward.